Hi, I'm John Park. I'm the Stewardship Project Director for New Jersey Audubon. Native grasslands are one of the most endangered ecosystems in the Northeast, and in New Jersey, they face an almost immediate threat of disappearing. As a result, birds like the bobolink and savanna sparrow that depend on grasslands for nesting sites have experienced significant declines in population. In 2005, New Jersey Audubon began an initiative to reestablish native grasslands in New Jersey. The program has been very successful, so far establishing over 2,000 acres of grassland. One way we've increased grassland habitat is by encouraging local farmers to reserve a portion of their land to plant native warm season grass crops. Once the grassland birds have finished breeding for the season, the farmers can harvest the grassland hay and they need a market for that hay. It turns out that late season grasses can be used as a biomass fuel, an alternative to heating oil and natural gas. When that hay is converted into pellets, it can be burned in pellet furnaces to supply heat and hot water to buildings. Here at the Sherman Hoffman Wildlife Sanctuary in Bernardsville, we have installed a Central Boiler Maxim M250 biomass furnace, which will run on grass pellets. We estimate that this furnace will reduce our annual energy cost by about 40 percent. And we will use this furnace to demonstrate the feasibility of biomass fuels to others who are interested in implementing this technology in their own buildings and homes. Funding support for this project was generously provided by Christine Hepburn and Kenneth Martin, the Gibson Family Foundation, and the Hyden Watson Foundation. On October 7, 2009, Project funder Jim Gibson was here to get an overview of the pellet furnace system. Roger and Andy from GC Mechanical explained the system's operation features and efficiencies. Jim was then invited to start the system up for the first time. Basically, we just load this hopper full. Um, it's a one-ton hopper, holds 40, 43 bags. Um, that auger right there pulls from this full hopper into the adjacent hopper on the boiler itself. Oh, okay. Okay, and this has an onboard um, 11 bag uh, hopper, which that just keeps on reloading based yeah. on a fill switch. Yeah. Um, everything else is totally automatic from in within. It's got another auger built into the back side here, which sends it into the burner box. Now, so this is uh, producing hot water? Hot water for the boilers and yeah. for domestic hot water, for your water heating. How many BTUs an hour? This is 250,000. This right it's here peak. is a... It can yeah, right. The fan adjustments go up or down. It modulates on, um, on a day like a warm day. Um, the fan speed can go into low from 1% to 5%, which is adjustable. And then at nighttime, it ramps up yeah. to get us up to the 100%, whatever we preset these, the, the control at. So it modulates to your outdoor temperature without wasting. So we're now, not just. On a really cold day, at what rate does it use fuel? Well, we'll we'll take you mean exactly what? How many pounds? Yeah, that's going to be an equation we're going to have to figure out. Oh. Depending on how much it uses is going to be dependent on how cold it is, how what no, the no, heat loss of the building that. is, and you know. But we can adjust it from the high speed from 65 percent air to 100 percent air um, based on the loads of the building. Mm. So we've got a three adjustable three adjustable fan speeds. The pellets that are in there right now, Jim, they came from a farm that's part of a uh, landowner incentive program for habitat. It's the Warren County Rod and Gun Club. They uh, they harvested it last year. They were pelletized. Um, oh, so this is this it's is loaded. With, it's loaded with switchgrass, Indian yeah, and grass, switch everything. Grass is, that those look like pretty good pellets. Yep, we had them tested. Oh, okay. um, we yep. sent them to Central Boiler, had them tested, got the data back from them, and they. Um, Proved to be quite a quite a useful little product. So um, we're on the same lines as uh, wooden corn pellets. When do you harvest the warm season grass? The winter, don't they? We've been yeah. The, the there's, there's two schools of thought on it. Right right now, 
Uh, some of it was being, the ones that we have here were harvested in the fall, okay? But now we're looking to possibly harvest them over the winter because uh, a lot of the literature out there now says that uh, if they let it go over the winter and harvest it then, you lower moisture content mm. and a lot, of the, a lot of the other minerals and stuff will leach out. So we're going to try it this year with a late season harvest uh, over the winter pelletize those and see if we get any better yeah. results. Son, are, are you the Johnny Appleseed of warm season? <laughs> yeah, yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. What do you say? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fire it up. Fire this guy up. Yeah. 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 Um, I just want to Here's your power button, and you're going to have to hold to light. Okay. I'm just going to give you a prime first. You want the door shut? Nope. Just hold that button right there. Yeah, now you can hold the light. hit the auto light, hit the hold the light button. Okay, lock down. Just hold on to it for a little bit. Just hold on. It's got a cycling like pass on it. <laughs> <laughs> Steps, huh? It doesn't continuously rotate. The, what did you call it? The, the That's an aerator. That's yeah. attached to the other end of the auger. So as oh, as the auger as the auger spins, it'll aerate the top of it so that it keeps a cylindrical area to where air can get through it, and the rest yep, is just yep. coming up through it. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and as you can see, with the door closed in normal operation. We get absolutely zero smoke. 